Good afternoon, y'all. It's been a while since I have recorded, and mainly it's because I'm very busy uh, trying new things. Um, I have a Dickens 1950 book that I gutted and had to redo the spine, and I've been working on that all day today. But what happens is I watch these videos and then I want to try something as soon as I watch them. So this is one of them. Um, this was from Pam at the Paper Outpost. She's always posting videos of things that I want to make and that are very doable. Um, and this is made with, um, sorry, my fingers are just a mess. Um, this is made with four envelopes. And um, I stenciled the front and then um, just added a little bit of burlap and some um, coffee dyed paper and some stickers, flour. Um, again, stenciled on the inside with a button and some different things. Um, this one I used book page and also made a little tag and this is the homemade paper that Debbie um, had showed me how to do. And this is just a page. Um, and this is the paper that I dyed with um, my flowers. And this is just a piece of uh, cardstock. Um, I put a lady there. I did paint her uh, hat pink to go along with this. And this is just a little receipt page. Um, collaged a couple things on here. And this again is um, one of those pictures I painted their hats pink and put a couple tags in there. This is um, a page. I watercolored it and um, actually I used um, I've been putting, uh, let's see where I can find it. I don't know where it is, but anyway, I've been putting um, food coloring in little bottles of water and spraying, and that works really good. But this is a little uh, cluster that I made, and it looks like it needs to be glued more. Um, and it's also a glassine bag, and I put some paper in there. This is also, um, one of them that I um, stenciled, put some washi tape, stamped it, and there's some um, journaling paper. And this is just a collage. Um, the flowers were not blue. I painted them blue to go with this one. Um, I did a little bit of stenciling down here. And then this is a um, just a cluster that I sewed. And it also has a pocket and this is actually a card a um, playing card and I covered the back to write on and I painted on the front and this was a stamp that I painted this is pine cones that I cut out of some fabric and um, glued it on top of some tracing paper and did some spraying for the colors to go together. This is a tea bag. I did a little bit of layering up there. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a stenciled background, and then I um, used a uh, napkin on there. And then I've got a little journaling card and stamped butterflies on the back to write in. And, um, and then that's the back, and that's another one that I sprayed. Uh, real simple project. Um, if there's any interest, I can show you, or if you go to the Paper Outpost, she's got it. Um, they're real cute, real easy, fun, fun to do. It took me longer than I had anticipated because once you get going, you realize there's quite a few pages to fill up. So um, anyway, that's what I did. 
and hopefully I'll be showing y'all the Dickens book before long. This is another project that Pam at the Paper Outpost um, showed, and these are just um, those green, those green file folders. You cut the 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 ends off where those the hanging wire things are, and you fold this in and make a pocket, and then you fold, you know, add your fabric and fold it over, and. I've got this part done so far. I sewed all the way around it. And of course I've got lots more to do with it, but that's that's one of them that I made. I made this smaller one, same thing. It's a green file folder, pocket on the side, sewed around, added the lace trim. So I'll be adding lots of pages and then this one right here and i think susie with susie's craft room i know she didn't feel good today but she came over like a friend and um gave me her advice on trim on some of these this one um is another one same way file folder pocket and um i think they're really cute and i was able to whip three of them out really quick while i was watching her so um, you know, and then sewed all the way around, but they're a lot of fun and they're easy. And I have like tons of these green file folders. So we used to own a business and we've got tons of them. So I'll probably make more later, but it's going to take me long enough to fill these up. Um, let's see, what else have I been doing? Uh, I finished my grateful journal. Um, let's see, I'll get it. This is, um, oops, this is my grateful journal that I've been following with Susie in Susie's craft room. Um, this is just plain, um, you know, um, scrapbook paper that I, I reinforced with um, some, uh, I can't remember what I used. It wasn't Mod Podge, but it was that stuff that you use when you paint. I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, um, it's 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 for me, so I wasn't real picky. Um, I did this little trim along the side, trim on the front, and it's kind of filled with things that I love. Um, I love to go out in the woods, and I love nature, so I've got a little card in here, some little things right there. Right here I covered with... Um, pattern paper, sewing pattern paper. And this side is one of the papers that I dyed from my flowers. And then the stenciling and just a page, music page. This says celebrate, got a belly band and a little card right here. I loved this napkin because I love trees and then gardening is something that I love. So I got that and some leaves off of our tree out back. And this is just a, a collage painting that I did. And some more of that on that side. And this is voting day. So I'll be writing in there. I'm going to go vote tomorrow. This is... um. My mom's cookbook, which is very, very old, I put in here. This is a cupcake liner that um, I'd gotten those cupcake liners from Susie and some recipes, but this is really old. Cooking is a big part of my life. Um, this is You Are Stronger Than You Think. This is the dialysis machine. Um, back when I was doing that at home, which we're not doing it at home anymore, but yes you had to be strong this is just a little card he has made everything beautiful and it's time little piece of my painting just a few papers to write in this is he who plants a tree plants a hope it's got some leaves and this is um trees that i painted on um paper and Memories. This is an envelope. 
with a bird in it. And again, some of my paper that I dyed with flowers. A little bit of collaging. Faith. To believe is to have faith. My faith in God is very, very important to me. Thanksgiving. And here's some journaling paper to write about Thanksgiving, which I'm not sure we'll be going anywhere or doing anything, but, and then art is big for me. There's a, a piece that I painted. Here's some things that I painted. And gardening again. It says, be happy. It's a little butterfly. Did some trim on the sides. A friend is a present you give yourself. I was going to write about my friends. And this is Homer. Um, I painted a picture of my favorite fig tree, Homer, um, and put a little bit of journaling paper in there. But he's a tuck, and he. I have a lot to write about Homer. I'll be writing a lot of things about Homer in there. Then there's the other part of that, and then a little um, acorn pocket with nothing in there. I guess I need to put something in there. But that's my grateful journal. It's for me, so um, I'll be jotting in it. I need to find a really good fine tip marker, and um, I'm going to start in November. But anyway, hope everybody's doing good. The weather here is too warm for October but we're supposed to get some cooler weather by the end of the week. So hope y'all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.